word. So, the new weight loss, I guess, thing that people can do. Yeah. Can I ask CJ first? Uh, I want to ask Alexander as well. Would Why do you want to ask me, Max? Because I'm, I'm a bit heavy? Yeah. Is that why? Yeah. I, 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 are you fat shaming me? No, just asking a question, the guy with experience. Um, <gasps> oh, ask the heavy guy. If you, if you were given a because chance got to lose weight, mm -hmm. how far would you take? Like, what would you do to lose weight? Like, what, like, would you just diet? And if that doesn't work, would you give up? Or like, how far would you go to lose weight? Oh, if I wanted to lose weight, I'd just diet and probably work out a bit. Yeah, but would you do liposuction? Would you do? Twenty? Nah. I no. I possibly would. Liposuction? Possibly, except it does scare me. It is. It's an unnecessary like um, any unnecessary yeah. surgery scares me because there's always a chance, right? Mm. And that bloody rod that you see and they're oh, so vicious with oh, man. it. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen I've seen that rod, man. I, I feel like how do they not poke stabbed? all your insides? Anyway, I don't know. They're not going inside you. I know, but then like you can see it through the skin, like you can see it like poking the skin. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, so there's always like the the diets, and then you got the uh, pills, the, the pills, and the there's all these things. If the doctor prescribed me a pill, I'd I, probably I, take I, it. Unless there was a medical reason why. I needed to have the surgery. Like staples or something. Uh, was it staples? Was gastro. It? Gastro. Yes. Gastro. Oh. Yeah. Gastro, yeah. Yeah, unless the doctor goes, that has worked yeah, for you're going to have to have the gastro surgery or die. Yeah. Like, I'll have the surgery. But otherwise, I just uh, do a bit of walking. Yeah. Work out and just diet. Watch what you eat. Yeah. I've lost 20 kilos before. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's 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 good. I have to, lo I have to lose 20 kilos. But, 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 but then I put it on. Yeah, that, I was going to say, then you found <laughs> it again. I know you lost 20, but you found yeah. it again. <laughs> I, I lost 20 and found 30. <laughs> um, uh, Emma, found the tell us the new way of to lose weight. So the it's called the Dental Slim Diet Control. Mm. Uh, it's developed by um, New Zealand's University of Otago in collaboration with some UK researchers. Mm. What it is, is they've developed this device that they place on your teeth and it basically does not allow you to open your mouth. <laughs> That's the whole device. It allows you to open your mouth wide enough to fit like a straw. Yeah. You can still talk. Apparently it doesn't hinder your talking. Um, although some people that have tried it said there was a few, couple of like words that they couldn't really pronounce mm. properly. But if you have a look at it, it's basically like a clamp that just clamps your teeth shut. What do you think? How do, what do you think? Hold on. So, so, so what you're saying is I could literally make chocolate milkshakes for 12 hours a day and drink them and be quite full and have my jaw wide shut. Yeah. And it does fuck basically nothing. It's just like a liquid diet. I mean, you're not trying to find a way to get around it. I am, I am a heavy boy and... I'm always trying to find a way around. It. I disagree with that, Dev. Okay. Yep. I think if you're the type of person who would use this in order to lose weight, you're definitely trying to find ways around it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah, hundred percent. That is, if you got away. <laughs> yeah. It looks quite you're scary, <laughs> like the actual clamp. But I think it's done with magnets because after two weeks, apparently, then you can have the magnets disengaged, um, and then go onto a less restricted diet. Because uh, there was a bit of backlash, wasn't there? Um, I would imagine investment. so. Why? Why would like? All right. So why would you imagine this backlash? Because it just seems so outlandish. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems. It seems so medie medieval. Have you had? Have you it seen does the seem, image? It does seem pretty medieval, to be fair. Yeah, it's kind of like but, the. Uh, um, like, uh, 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 it's it's yeah. like the. Oh, what's it called? It's like a chest. chest it's like a chest that he built for your it's mouth. Exactly yeah, what I was look thinking. At it. <laughs> Thanks, Siege. So you can. You're welcome, Alexander. <laughs> you can only open your mouth two millimeters or something crazy. Because uh, there was a heap of backlash behind this, and there was like some people that were saying, "How can you come up with this stuff? This is outrageous and all this." But the thing is, when people were giving backlash, I was like, "Dude, it's an invention. You don't have to use it. I don't understand why you're outraged so much about the invention of this." Like. 
They're not telling you to put it in your mouth. They're saying if you don't want to eat, this is a way to stop. Like, so I don't... how about how about this? How about this? Why not just not eat? It's, so I, that's just that's uh, easier to said than done. Yeah, I fully buy into oh, yeah, the the idea of if someone creates something, you don't have to use it. So why do you care if you don't like it? Mm. But I also would be close. Not on the out. I'm not outraged by much these days. But I'd be close on the side of this is ridiculous and it shouldn't get seen by people. Like no. I, and the reason being is, and Emma knows to how I think about stuff, because when you introduce these types of things, it's it's introducing or continuing the entirely wrong mindset to have about losing weight. Like, and there are, there oh, are so the many mindset. things out there, devices, products, whatever that are all around this concept of or all around the the strategies of losing weight which is the wrong yeah. conversation to start with like your conversation shouldn't be about losing weight your conversation should be about having a good diet yeah not going on a diet or d it's just just have a have an understanding of nutrition and when i say a basic understanding of nutrition i don't even mean basic in terms of what we currently consider basic i mean way higher than what we currently consider as basic that should become the basic understanding of nutrition mm. people should have a generally healthier diet and the weight loss will take care of itself like you you don't even have to think about losing weight if you're doing things in order it's, to lose weight you're going to gain weight the, the, i i agree i agree we just got to start taking away all the all the bad shit then. <laughs> but it's not even about taking yeah, about it like away. It's moderation. Like, this is what I mean by understanding. Like, I can eat. I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm not even in great shape right now. And even when I'm about to start, when I move, I'm about to start a, a journey back towards getting on stage. That's something I want to do. I'm still going to have pizzas during that time. I'm still going to have burgers. I'm still going to have things that aren't necessarily healthy. But that's because yeah. I understand nutrition. I understand how moderation with nutrition works. And moderation doesn't mean like, oh, I eat only the meat and the bottom bun. I don't eat the top. No, I'm going <laughs> to eat the whole freaking burger. <laughs> but I'm going to offset that. You're not going to have that. it every day. Yeah, yeah. See, my by problem, making good choices. My, my, and not, my, my, my problem is I I enjoy the burger too much. But it's not, <laughs> and it's not even. <laughs> It's not even like I'm going to suffer the other day so that I can have the burger. That like I'm going to enjoy my food the other days, but because you have an understanding of what is what has good nutritional value, and then you understand flavor profiles and stuff. Not me, the, the other one. The other one does it for me. She understands that way better than I do. But if you have an understanding of flavor profiles, seasonings, sauces, all these different things you can utilize, you can make healthy food taste just as good as a burger. Like it's, but we we have this weird. Well, it's not weird. We have this media-driven correlation between health and taste. Like, oh, if it's unhealthy, it tastes better. If it's healthy, it tastes bad. It's got to be bad. Like, healthy food can taste really good. I also think there's a correlation between healthy food and effort. But there's not. This is something I'm learning. If you, if you mean effort in terms of literally having to make something, then yes. Like, it's easier to go to a fast food place and... Actually, no, it's not. It's not easy to go to a fast food and pay no. and pick up food than it is to cook something healthy. Like some healthy foods can be cooked very, very quickly. I think and I'm talking more about the effort of um, not like, for example, if I was to make something for me, is my family going to eat that? And then it's just an effort. And then I'm like, now I've got to buy different things. And then. Taste. Well, I don't really know how to cook all these other healthy stuff. So then I've got to look at, you know, what can I do with that? And then I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just stick Okay, with what I know. so let me <laughs> let me give you let's go down the path of the losing weight side of this, not just in terms of there is an effort disparity if you're talking about not making any change. But if your goal is to make change, which people do, they'll go on a diet which is mental effort. They'll go on a diet which is the physical effort because you have to as you say like learn to cook all these new foods and do all these new things and maybe you meal prep and all this kind of stuff the exercise routine that goes along with that if you just decided instead to understand nutrition understand diet you've got the mental effort of learning at the beginning you have to learn a little bit you've got the mental effort of learning these new recipes 
then that's it. You're done. You don't have to do... You don't have to go crazy and have the mental struggle of eating only healthy food until you lose 10 kg or whatever it is. Like, you don't have to go through that depression that comes along with that, that anxiety that comes along with that. You don't have to go through... You don't even have to go through the effort of the exercise. Like, yes, obviously exercise is good for you and beneficial, but I always fully recommend sort out your diet first that will set that will set you up a lot because if you sort out your diet your energy levels are going to balance better you're going to want to do when i say exercise i don't mean like going on a treadmill you're going to want to live a more active lifestyle if you have if your body is in a better state if you're in a if your homeostasis is brought to a level that is more appropriate where you have a balance of energy levels because you're going to have energy you want to burn you're going to feel good about your body because you're going to be in a better shape and you're naturally just going to want to do more things. Like, for example, playing basketball, I'm about to go join a basketball team again for the first time in however many years. And I was thinking about this and I'm like, oh, I'm going to move on such and such a day because they practice on a Wednesday and I want to go there and go to practice on the Wednesday. It'd be really fun and all that. And then I think about it and I'm like, oh, I'm if I actually go on that Wednesday, like I'm not in shape. I'm going to, within two minutes, I'm going to be gassing for air and like, tired it's gonna be terrible this is gonna hurt a lot but if i was in better shape that would never even cross my mind so i want to do these things but i fear and don't do them because of my current shape if i was in a better healthy state with better energy balance then i would do these things more often yeah this is true i for a second i did consider getting the magnetic teeth clamping really (laughs) for a second yeah why as a kickstart what are you talking about well they're, 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 people are losing ki- six kilos in two weeks <laughs> i mean they're not eating yeah but it's not the right way it's not the right way to lose weight i know All it's not you're going to do is put double you're gonna put double back on i know you will I'll see you again. 